Welcome to DIY Solar and Wind. I'm at the Kalamazoo Air Zoo. The other videos I made of the solar car, they disappeared. I must have deleted them. So I came back. I got an annual pass anyway. So I'll be sharing a lot of airplanes with you along the way on this journey this year. It's a lot of solar cells in there. It's pretty awesome. It's the Sun Seeker. Western Michigan University. That's right here in Kalamazoo. I'm going to read to you as they took their journey. The Sun Seeker. I'm going to show you the car. Sunseeker 295 is the solar-powered vehicle that Western Michigan University entered in the 2001 American Solar Challenge. The race began in Dallas, Texas and ended in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There were 34 solar team entries. A tropical downpour started on their way through uh, Missouri, but the Sunseeker team did not give up and crawled across the finish line in 18th place. In 1999, GM ended sponsorship of the Solar Racing Car. A new organization, I'll show you the team, I lost my place. A new organization, American Solar Challenge, took on the responsibility for the solar powered car racing event. The first race, aptly named the American Solar Challenge, was the longest solar race in the world beginning on Route 66 from Chicago and ending in Los Angeles, a 2,400-mile race. There were 28 vehicles that finished the 2001 American Solar Challenge. Western Michigan University Sunseeker took fifth place in its class and 23rd overall. That's pretty amazing. 2001, just a few years ago, huh? And just all of the great solar advances since then are astronomical. Now you got some people with a lot of solar in their backyard. Ain't that funny? <laughs> just thought I would share that. And you have a nice sunny day.